Good to see us back. How are you guys doing? Thanks for joining us for another fun field learning field stream. I'm so excited to be here with all of you to share and explore new topics together. Hey, I wanted to tell you about something that happened to me yesterday while playing soccer with my friends. Oh, and not even talking about it. Check out this video I saw. We happened to be in a very exciting game. And I was running so fast that I felt I could beat the wind. But all of a sudden, boom! I tripped over a rock and... pa, I fell to the ground. My elbow hurt a lot, but my friends helped me up and my mom treated the wound. This taught me that although being fast is super cool, it's also important to pay attention to what we have around us, friends. We have to be careful when we play. Hey, have you ever wondered how artificial intelligence can help us in our lives every day? Well, today I'm going to show you an amazing tool that can do amazing things. It's called Night Cafe. It's a cool tool. But don't be anxious, guys. We'll learn more about this fantastic tool in a little bit. As I was saying, yesterday I was at the park and besides playing soccer and everything I told you about before, I had some time to relax on a blanket with my friends while we devoured some cookies. And I was surprised to see how many beautiful trees and flowers there were around. And then I thought, what if in the next stream I learned together with my virtual friends about plants? Ha! Huh, how about that? But. Before we start our journey through the world of plants, it's important to remember what we learn. It is important that we remember what we learn when we go to the kitchen to prepare a delicious snack. Remember how we need ingredients to make a recipe? Well, the same goes for plants. In order to understand how they work and what they are for, we must first learn about their different parts and how they work together as the ingredients in a recipe. So let's get ready to learn all about plants and how they can help us in our day-to-day -day lives. Okay, let's explore FlexFlix to find a video on this topic we are learning about. You know that on FlexFlix we always find the best educational videos. Look, here it is. This is the one we needed. Let's watch it. Have you got a garden at home? There is a huge garden at my aunt's. Well, if you look out of the window or go to a park, you'll see, among other things, many plants. Also, when I walk down the sidewalk, in some places there are very tall trees, like buildings. What calls your attention when wow. you look at plants? Well, the big trees don't fall. In order not to fall, trees hold onto the ground with huge roots. But we can't see them because they are underneath the ground. But plants have other parts, such as stems. What are the parts of the plants for? Well, leaves are like the kitchen for vegetables, because the plants produce the food they need to live. But for that, leaves need certain it. ingredients. Through the roots, they get water and other elements called nutrients, which go up through very thin tubes inside the stem. That is, Roots help plants do two things, stand upright and take water and nutrients. That's right, Jamie. Besides I water see. and nutrients, leaves take air through some very little holes. But for this to happen, there must be a main ingredient. Beside the roots, the stem, the branches and the leaves, what else can you see in a plant? Flowers! Very good. Many plants, but not oh, right. all of them, have got flowers. And flowers allow the plant to reproduce. That is, to produce more plants. The same as animals that breed, plants also reproduce. Flowers turn into fruit, some of which we eat as food. Oh, right. Wow, guys. I know it may not seem like the plants are very exciting at first glance, but... Believe me, they are super important. If you think about your day-to-day -day life, you will see that you are surrounded by plants, whether in the form of trees, shrubs, flowers, or even in your food bowl. 
Plants provide us with oxygen to breathe, food to eat, and many other benefits that we may not realize. Something that really caught my attention from the video we watched is that trees have these things that hold them to the ground really, really tightly so they don't fall over. What were they called? Let's see it again. In order not to fall, trees hold onto the ground with huge roots. But we can't see roots. them because that they are underneath it. the ground. Of course, now I get it. I love this video, guys. Folks, after learning about the roots, stems, leaves, and flowers of plants, I still understand how they work and how each part plays an important role in their growth and survival. It's fascinating to see how a tiny seed can transform into a strong and beautiful seedling thanks to the magic of nature. And speaking of magic, there is something that I find super curious, and that is how it works so perfectly in nature. How does the plant know where to take nutrients from? I have an idea. I came up with something cool to ask FlexFlix GBD. Hold on, I'm going to open the chat. Remember... You must have downloaded the app from your smartphones or tablets to use it. Okay, I'm going to put it. Today I was learning about how plants feed and what their elements are. I wanted to ask you to give me an example of what would happen if suddenly the plant stopped functioning properly, if the roots were to break off, or the leaves didn't function to feed the plant, etc. Well, let's see what you give us, folks. Hey, write to him, too. Wow, look, there he is. He's answered. I'm going to read. Excellent question. Think of a plant as a person. If that person is sick and can't eat or drink, he will begin to feel weak and will not be able to do his daily activities. The same is true of a plant. If the roots which are like the mouth of the plant break, the plant cannot drink water or eat nutrients from the soil. And if the leaves, which are like the stomach of the seedling, don't work properly, they can't convert sunlight into energy, which is like food for the plant. Without its food, the plant cannot grow. Then, if the plant cannot eat or drink, it becomes sad, turns yellow, and may not survive. That's why it's very important to take good care of plants. Wow, it's really very important all the work that plants do to feed themselves, don't you think, guys? Okay, listen up. I propose that we use artificial intelligence tools to take our learning to the next level. Let's discover together how AI can help us learn in an even more effective and exciting way. But remember that artificial intelligence is a powerful tool. That we must use it responsibly and with the help of an adult. Then we can learn in a more fun and exciting way. Well, as I told you before, I decided to use this artificial intelligence tool called Night Cafe. It's a tool with which you can create images of all kinds. It's really cool! It doesn't even occur to me that we can create the image of a beautiful plant. But for it to come out really beautiful, I need to describe it really well. Oh, I know. Let's ask FlexFlex GPT to help us with the prompt. Let's see. Wait for me to open the chat back up. So, and here. Okay, I'm going to put, I want to use an artificial intelligence tool that generates images to generate the image of an awesome, beautiful plant. Can you help me by giving me a very descriptive prompt for a cool plant? Let's see, let's see, let's see what it gives us. Oh guys, ask you guys for a prompt too, so we can create the image with Night Cafe at the same time. Look, he's answered. Let's see, I'll read it. A majestic tropical plant with large, vibrant green leaves a twisted trunk of golden brown, purple velvet flowers with iridescent yellow centers. The background shot has a fertile ground dotted with green stones and amethysts under a sky lit by a rising sun. Wow! With this prompt, Night Cafe should give us an amazing picture. Okay, 
Now let's log in to the Night Cafe website. Just like that. Good. Now let's log in with our email or with our parents' email address. And now click on Create. That's it. That's it. And now we put the prompt here. Let's paste the prompt given to us by Flightflix GPT and hit Create like this. And now we just have to wait, folks. Very nice. Wow, that was fast. Look at that great image. And that plant looks great. It looks huge, don't you think? I can see the leaves, the stem, the flowers, and even the roots. Remember, folks, the roots, which help the plant receive water and nutrients. Wow, how amazing are plants. Friends, did you try to make an image with the prompt given to you by FlexFlix GPT? Go for it. Then you can upload your results to FlightFlix Shorts and share it with your virtual friends on the platform. Well, guys, I think it's time to put everything we learned to the test with a FlightFlix trivia quiz. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, all right. Here we go. Why don't trees fall down? Because they're big, the leaves give them balance or strong roots. It's because of their strong roots. That's right, that's right. All right, folks. Okay, let's go on to the next one. How do plants make their own food? Solar energy with the Earth's water, or are they all correct? Both are correct. It's solar energy and Earth's water. That's right. That's good, folks. It's too correct. Let's go with the last one. What do plants need to live? Moist wind and sun, water, air, light and soil, or sky, grass, water, and sun? They need water, air, light, and soil exactly. That's great, folks. Great trivia. Hey, folks, it's been a real pleasure sharing this afternoon with you. I hope you had fun and learned something new. Remember to keep exploring the FlexFlix app to learn about other topics, and you can also use FlexFlix GPT to clear all your doubts. It's super cool and very safe. My mom always stays calm when I'm learning on FlexFlix. Well now, see you next time, my friends. I love you so much. Bye.